Never a minute late, amen. We can look at Lazarus for an example of that, amen, and how that he had been in the dead, in, in the grave for four days, amen, and, and, and pretty much it probably just started smelling, amen, and everyone knew that Lazarus was dead, amen. Yeah, everyone knew. But God said he's just sleeping. He said he's just asleep, amen. You know, there's times in our spiritual walk we catch ourselves sleeping, amen. We find ourselves neglected to put our trust and faith in Him. We try to do things on our own, amen, and we realize, amen, after we've struggled with it and struggled with it, we begin to call upon Him, and then all of a sudden, He just takes over, amen. He's an awesome God, amen, and He loves you, amen. And I, I, He's all my present. I don't care where you're at, amen. There's nowhere you can go that God's not there, amen. He's a good God. Amen. Look with me in Romans chapter 4. Amen. Just speaking of one thing that God makes many promises to you and I. Amen. And you and I should realize, amen, that the promises that God makes, He keeps. Amen. The promises that God makes, He can do. Amen. Listen to what this says. This is in verse 21 of Romans chapter 4. It says, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform. Amen? Isn't that good to know, Brother Johnny, that no matter what we think, yes. or no matter what the world says about it, God's able to take care of it if God's Every will is in yes. it. Amen? Yes. If it's God's will in your life, amen, that, that you'd have a million dollars, you know what? You're going to have a million dollars. That's right. Amen? Why? Because God will see to it that His will is done in your life. Amen. That's how much He loves us. Amen. Philippians 1 and 6 says to be confident of this very thing that which He begun a good work in you. Amen. That He'll perform it. Amen. He promises that He'll take care of us. Amen. His promises are true and we can bank on them, Brother Cleveland. I'm telling you that's why he's such an awesome God, amen. Anything he says, that's the way it is, amen. I'm telling you, amen. He don't change his mind, not for you or for me or for anyone else, amen. But God will do what God wants to do, amen. And what he promises, amen, will come to pass, amen. We can bank on that, amen. We can also realize, amen, that God is a delivering God, amen. As we look at uh, a factor with Daniel, amen, and how that he was thrown in a den of lions, amen. He wasn't thrown in a lion's den, but he was thrown in a den of lions, amen. Yes. Can you imagine, Sister LeBron, what you would have thought if they had grabbed you by the shirt tail and shucked you off into a pen with a den of lions, amen? I can tell you I'd probably be scared to death, amen? But knowing God and knowing who God is in my life, amen, I can tell you, amen, I would have to lean to Him to give me the help to, to overcome that fear, amen, and to be able to, to sit and leave and lay my head down that night. I'd probably be over in a corner with my eyes wide open, staring at each one of them little kitty cats, amen, saying, don't you bother me, amen. Wouldn't you, amen, just think about it, amen. But God's a delivering God, amen. He'll not let us get in a place, amen, of trouble like that without coming in amen. to take care of us, amen. amen. I'm telling you, amen, God is on your side, amen. He is an awesome God, amen. He's an on-time God, and He knows everything about us, amen. But so many times we fail to call upon Him, amen, when we should call on Him even more so than amen. we ever have. A lot of times we find ourselves running this race alone, amen, because we don't realize how awesome He is. We forget at times to call on Him and to lean not unto our own understanding, That's right. but to acknowledge Him in all our ways, amen. I'm telling you the truth tonight, amen. God wants to take care of you. He wants you to stand upon His promises, amen, and know that you know that you know that everything's going to be all right. I was at work yesterday, amen, on a job up there in Decatur, and I was laying tile, amen, and actually I was, I was laying a, a plywood floor because the floor was right. Had already laid the tile, and we 
was there to go out in the attic to fix the, the bedroom floor. So while we was there, we was fixing the bedroom floor, and I was up there, and I had a lady call me, amen, and she was down and out, amen, brother. I had, she, she had no hope. She, she had lost sight of Jesus, but yes, she was a minister's wife, amen, and she loved the Lord, and I knew she loved the Lord, but she began to cry, and she said, Brother Dan, I need you to pray with me, because I'm so scared. And Brother Johnny, I thought, you need to pray for me. What do you mean? Yeah. That's all I thought. And God just all of a sudden got a hold of me. And I began to pray, amen. And I'm telling you, amen, God began to speak to her, amen. The time we got off the phone, amen, we were shouting and having a good time, amen. She was praising and magnifying the Lord, singing songs of Zion, amen. It wasn't because of me, but it was because she served an awesome God. Yes. What it took that fear off of her, amen. What it planted her up on that solid, firm foundation, amen. Let her know that no matter what she was going through, that everything was going to be all right. God's able to take care of us even through a phone line. He's an awesome God, amen. He's able to take care of us through a, through a mediocre prayer, amen. But you know what? But a lot of us don't even take time to do that. That's right, brother. Amen. I'm telling you tonight, God will keep His promises. He'll take care of you, amen. He'll not let you down, amen. He'll be there, amen. I'm telling you tonight, amen, if you'll turn with me to Luke, Luke chapter 3, amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Glory to God, amen. God's a good God. I didn't mark these. I should have marked every one of them, amen. Amen, but I didn't, amen. That's right, brother. He preached. You obey the Lord. We'll be all right. Bless Praise the Lord. the Lord. Glory to God. <clears throat> I don't want to lose my spot. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Luke chapter 3 verse 8. Amen. Amen. How many realize who God is in their life? Amen. And what He's capable of. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. One more page. Here we are. Bringing forth therefore fruits worthy of repentance and beginning not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our, our father, for I say unto you that God is able to these stones to raise up children and Abraham. Amen. Amen. I'm telling you there's nothing impossible for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's able to do the impossible. Amen. What we think at times is impossible, Brother George, is simple for God. Very simple for God. God's thoughts are so much higher than our thoughts and His ways are so much <coughs> greater than our ways. And a lot of times we just, we don't give God the credit that He deserves. That's right. Amen. We don't. We don't look unto God like we should, amen. I'm telling you, amen, God's able to fulfill His promises, amen. He's able to take care of you, amen. He's able to deliver, amen. He's able to show up, amen, when no one else will show up, amen. He's a good God, amen. I'm telling you tonight, amen, He's not only good, He's awesome, amen. Yes, He is. Yes. God is an on-time God. Yes, he is. I'll tell you, amen, 1995, November the 20th, God showed up in my life, Brother John. Amen. He began to let me know right then and there that he was a saving God. Amen. <coughs> amen. That he was a delivering God. Amen. That he was a healing. Amen. I'm telling you, amen, he set me free. Amen. And it's all because of him. Amen. That I'm here. It's nothing because of what the things that I can do and the, the things He's given me the ability to do, but it's the thing that which He does in my life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. I'm telling you tonight, Amen. God wants you to trust Him. Amen. He wants us to trust Him with all our heart. Amen. With everything within us. Amen. Turn with me to Ephesians 3 and 20. Amen. Bless the Lord. 
Glory to God. Amen. I wish I would have marked these things. Amen. It would have been a whole lot easier. Amen. Glory to God. Tonight, if you uh, don't realize who God is in your life and who He can be and wants to be, amen, you need to get a hold to this tonight and realize, amen, that God don't make promises that He cannot keep. Amen. That's right. He makes promises that He's <coughs> intended to keep, amen, and that will, He will keep, amen. He'll not let us down, amen. I'm about there. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Verse 20 says, Now unto him that is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that worketh where? In us. In us. Yes. You see how, how much power you have is that which you believe. Amen. There you go. A lot of times we belittle <coughs> God in our life. Amen. Come on, brother. Preach. I don't want any of us to think more so of ourselves than we are. But let me just go ahead and tell you, we're nothing. But the one that lives within us is everything. Amen. I said he's everything. Amen. Everything you ever taught, everything you ever needed, amen. Anything you ever wanted, amen. He's it. Amen. He's the great I am. Amen. He's an awesome God. Amen. He's an on time God, sister. Read, amen. He's an all knowing God. There's nothing hid from him. Amen. He knows everything about us. Amen. He even has the numbers of our hair. He has the our hair is numbered, amen. Right. Got tongue twisted there, amen. amen. But I can tell you tonight, amen, there's nothing that we could think of that God couldn't do. Amen? Nothing that we could think of. That's how awesome He is. He's so awesome He took and He placed the stars in the heavens. Amen? I'm telling you, He put the sun out there so that it keep us warm. Amen? He took the earth, amen, and got it spinning so that we don't fall off, amen. I'm telling you, he's an awesome God, amen. He knows what he's doing. He created man out of the dust of the earth, amen. He's an awesome God, amen. He's an all-knowing God, amen. There's nothing hid from him, amen. You and I need to get our lives lined back up with his word, amen. And we need to trust him, amen. Yes, and put our faith in him yes. and not in the thing. That which we can do. Amen. God also takes care of us. Amen. He takes care of us in many ways. Amen. Look with me a few pages over there in Philippians 3. Amen. Bless the Lord. And 21. Just back up real quickly to verse 13. Before we go to 21, it says, Brother, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Amen? Yep. Brother Johnny, there was a time in my life I had to just let go of the past. And I had to reach forward towards what God wanted me to do. You know what? There's a day coming for each and every one of us. If it hadn't already come to do that very thing. As ministers. Yep. We're all ministers. Amen. He may not call you to stand behind a pulpit and preach. Amen. But there's a pulpit right outside these doors that he expects each and every one of us to do our part. Amen. Yes. And I'm telling you, He gave you a mouth, He gave you <coughs> breath in your body, legs and arms and feet and eyes and able to go. Amen. And He's made a way for you to get there. Amen. amen. And I'm telling you, the Bible tells us, Amen, that the footsteps of a just man are ordered by the Lord. That includes you women. Amen. None of us are exempt. Amen. God knows what He's doing. Amen. And He's an awesome God. Amen. <coughs> and He allows us to go places because there are people there. 
Amen. That need to hear about yes. him. Amen. That needs to come to know him. There's people that need to be saved. Amen. And God wants to use you. Amen. To save them. Amen. To water. Amen. If you would. Amen. To, to, to give them the ingredients that will cause them to turn and look to him. Amen. Amen. Verse 21 says, Who shall charge? Our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Yes. Amen. There's nothing God can't do. Amen. Yeah. I'm telling you tonight, amen, that you and I have to trust the Lord with all our heart mind, soul, and body. And we've got to let God be God in our life. Amen. We've got to make God number one in our life. When we make God number one in our life, you know what God does, Brother Johnny? He uses us for His good, Brother Cletus. Amen. He does. Amen. Why? Because He wants to save the world. Amen. That's right. That's what we're here for. Is to be used by God. Amen. So you need to give your life and heart and soul completely and totally to God. If you hadn't tonight, you need to. Amen. Turn with me to 2 Timothy. Amen. Chapter 1. Amen. I said 2 Timothy. Chapter 1. Amen. Bless the Lord. Verse 12, amen. It says, For thee which cause I also suffer these things, nevertheless, I am not ashamed, for I know whom I have believed, and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which I have committed unto him against that day. How many feel that way in their life? Amen. Amen. How many believe that God is going to take care of them? Amen. Do you know that? Amen. Have you got that no soul salvation that you know, that you know, that you know, if Jesus were to come back right now, that you'd go home to be with Him? Do you know that? Amen. I'm telling you, Jesus is able to keep us. Amen. If we'll just commit ourselves completely and totally to Him. Amen. And sell out tonight. Amen. I'm telling you, God's able to take care of us. He's able to keep us. Amen. And, and He's able to bring us home. Amen. One of these days we can make heaven our home. And we'll trust God. Amen. Yep. Turn with me to Jude 24. Amen. Last verse tonight. Amen. I'm going to close. Amen. I can get here real quickly. Somebody got there already? U24. It says, Now unto him that is able to what? To keep you from falling and to pre present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. So many of us this day and time, especially this day and time, make excuses for our shortcomings when we serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. One that's able to keep us yep. from sin, Brother Hines. Keep us, the Bible says, He that abideth under the shadow of the Almighty. You know what? God's going to take care of His children. And we'll just abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We'll right. go along with Him, brother. Johnny has spent time with him and talked to him. Put our trust and faith in him like he wants us to. Brother Hines, you know what? He'll not let us down. He never has. Amen. We're the ones that's let him down. He's able to keep us. He's able to sustain us, Brother John, and help us to do his will. Amen. And to be on fire. Amen. Like he wants us to be. Amen. I'll tell you, I'm so thankful today. That when she called me, amen, that I didn't put my trust and faith in what I called, amen, but that I listened to God, amen. God was able to work through that phone line. I seen her, that was yesterday, and I seen her today, and she wanted to hug my neck and tell me how much she appreciated me. And I said, don't, don't look to me for no credit, just give it to God. 
Amen. I said, God has you in His hands, and He's going to take care of you. Yes. You don't have to worry. And, and she was testifying to, to Dustin today of how awesome God was and is in our life. Amen. And I thank the Lord for that. Amen. I thank God for everything that He's doing. I'm telling you tonight, amen, you and I need to realize, amen. Look at verse 25 before we close it. To the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now God and forevermore. Amen. amen. God is always going to be God. Amen. He's an awesome God. Amen. He's all my present. There's nowhere you can go that God's not going to be there with you. Amen. I'm telling you tonight, amen, we can give God a hand clap. Amen. We need to give Him a big hand clap. Amen. And tell Him how much you love Him. Amen. Tell Him how much that He means to you. Amen. I'm telling you, if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't be here. Amen. And I'm so thankful that He keeps us. Amen. And sustains us and takes care of us and helps us to look away from that which is evil. Amen. The Bible says that it will just turn away and cling to the good things. Amen. That God will take care of us. Amen. Amen. That's all we got to do, folks, is just put our trust and faith in Him. Amen. You want to play a song? Praise the Lord. Amen.
a catalog somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be coming 100 miles away. Right? <laughs> I know why I got them. Well, they quit from red. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs>